know, there are many ways you can uh, interact with testosterone. The ones that we would predominantly work with in our practice would be either um, injections, either subcutaneously or intramuscularly, so, you know, in the muscle or, you know, in your fat, or, or topically, which could be creams. Um, and, you know, there are certain people who prefer one over the other, either for preferences or uh, uh, ease of use or outcome desires. But yeah, we, we, either way, we generally stick to either topically creams or injecting uh, hormones a couple times a week. Okay. And um, so uh, with your experience with patients, um, which one do you find that patients prefer? Um, and um, what, what reasons uh, maybe have they given you if, if they did, did make the transition from one to the other? So, you know, I'll say this. We do try and, to, to be a little bit less biased, I'll just kind of come out and say, you know, like we do really try and steer people away from creams when possible. Uh, however, patients who are a little unfortunate like afraid of needles, they don't really want to deal with injections, but they still want some, uh, they still want to be on TRT, that's when we essentially turn to creams. And, you know, the reason it kind of goes in that order is because, honestly, there is a pretty stark difference in terms of outcomes, uh, beneficial treatments, and ease of use. You know, um, there's nothing wrong with being treated with a cream if you're just one of those people who are like, I can't do needles and I won't do needles. You know, the main benefit of the cream is the fact that it's not a needle. That's the main benefit of the cream. And so the differences in terms of like application are, you know, your injections you have to do probably twice a week, just about. Most of the time that's what we would prescribe. The creams you do have to kind of do it every day. So, so in a practical sense, um, it's less time consuming to do your injections twice a week. Uh, for creams that you have to do daily, it's not just as simple as, you know, rub, 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 done. It's actually a process, right? So, you know, you have to have, you have to make sure you're clean. You have to have time set aside. You have to rub it on your skin. Um, you have to kind of get the dosage right for you. It'll take anywhere five to 10 minutes to actually uh, dry and not have to worry about rubbing it on other things, on other people. And then anywhere from, you know, 20 to 25 minutes to be essentially fully absorbed. And now, like, during this time, you can't be sweating. You can't get it wet, you know, so you can't be hot. And it's, it's, it's kind of limiting like that. You know, you need your 30 minutes every day in that controlled environment where you need to not be... Uh, essentially messing it up, messing up your dosage. And so that's from a practical standpoint. Honestly, kind of more work to use the cream, but no needle, injections, a lot less time consuming, pretty easy to do. Uh, you know, you, you get it done way less than 30 minutes, twice a week. That's, but the downside, you know, it's injection. That's the practical side of it. Now there's also the outcome side of it. And this, this is really why we lean on the injections. So when you have a cream, it is essentially you are getting all of the medication all at once. It's just that. And so what you tend to have is it all goes in all at once. Here's your high level. You're feeling really good. You're happy. This is still way better than any kind of non-TRT. But then immediately back down. And so, you know... The way TRT mostly works is that you want to maintain a beneficial level as a patient. So you want to have, you know, to have good outcomes to get the kind of bonus effects that you want, the good effects for your body, you want to be at like a higher level most of the time. And so with creams, it's essentially, here's your higher level that you want to reach. You're starting down here. Hope this is helping. And then, you know, we take our cream, peaks up here, and then goes away, goes down here. Well, not just that, but... When you're on any kind of TRT, you actually stop producing some of your own testosterone, which normally isn't a big deal because you're taking a significantly higher amount. You kind of just washes it out. But with creams, because it's all immediate, you know, you have this start where you are, go higher, go down near immediately. 
but because you're producing your own less, you're actually going down lower than where you started because this cream is all at once. Now with injections, they come essentially in a time release form. You know, they have additional carbon chains on them. You're not getting them all immediately through the skin. So you're, you, you are having these peaks. So here's your, you know, your beneficial therapeutic level and you do get your injection. Okay, well, it goes up to here, but the peak goes up a lot slower, stays there a little bit and then starts to come down and goes and does this again, right? And so you'd expect for, oh yeah, just like the cream that goes on here. Well, you know, instead of just being over a day, this is like over like three, four days, six days, that kind of thing. Well, every three days you're doing injection. So you have an injection here, goes up, starts to go down. You're having another injection right here. And so this is coming down, this is going up. But in actuality, you never go below that line. You always have this little peak and valley, but it always stays above that beneficial level. So you're actually getting more out of taking medications with your in injections on a more stable level. It's less shocking to your body. You're above that therapeutic level. You know, there's no, oh, was I sweating extra that day? You know, you're, you're really getting the most out of your, your time, uh, your money, your medicine. And so, you know, yeah, the, the big thing with those is you're not injecting, but you're not getting as high of benefits as you could. Uh, and you're spending more time or you are injecting. You do have to take a needle, but it's a lot healthier for you, I'd say. I mean, either way, if you have none and you go to one of the other options, you're going to feel better. But, you know, we would still hope that you would pick injections uh, mostly because of the benefit it'll bring to you. And, and that's kind of the talk we give every patient when they kind of talk about greens.